Hey, Yesterland fans, I'm Neil, and on today's episode of The Toys That Made Sense, we're going over those G.I. Joe classified six inch figures that came out here a few months ago. They're on those retro original cards. They're those big, big, big cards. I've got them right here in studio. We're going over the Baroness and Lady J. So let me ask you, were those a yo Joe or a yo no in your opinion? I'm gonna break them down. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna dive deep. So sit back, grab your favorite beverage and snack, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got them. And you know, looking at them right off the top, these look really, really cool, right? This really, you know, gives us that old, retro vintage um impression and look and feeling of how these figures came to us when we were kids back in the 80s the only thing we, that we can notice right off the top of our head that stands out and that's going to be like your warning choking hazards which those came you know very much later now one thing that i do want to point out that i noticed that is different than some of the um like action force uh age uh limitations or notifications or recommendations if you will or I notice on these classifieds they jump right to four plus so they recommend Hasbro recommends that these are meant for kids you know age four plus whereas Bobby's stuff with action force is you know recommended at a at a higher age limit I think it's like what is it like 14 plus or something like that so anyways yes these still have that collector uh, feel and vibe to them. There are small choking parts, but under those child safety uh, choking hazard warning stuff, they have to put that on there. But in my opinion, I still the still see these as like a 14-year-old plus uh, involvement, if you will. So that's just a little breakdown that I've noticed between the classifieds and like Action Force. But overall, <clears throat> excuse me, these are really good looking cards. So from a carded perspective, from the image side, not the card itself, but the image, the graphic, the picture, I'm gonna go with a Yo Joe on the card. Um, I love the artwork moving in. Let's take a look, like looking at Baroness. I mean, that's Baroness right there, man. We can tell right there off the top. So, I mean, the card's really cool. You get the G.I. Joe, the Baroness, the Cobra enemy insignia. We get Hasbro down here. And then we get this large open window. We know what we're getting. Um, yeah, they got the little legal mumble jumble pamphlet in there. You see all of her accessories. And that's such a really good um, sculpt on her face. Now, I believe this is a uh, like a second or potentially third version of her in the six inch line release we obviously know there's that other one that's a peg warmer right now it's kind of she has that bob haircut so which is just you know a horrendous rendition of her in my opinion this screams original vintage all day every day flipping around to the back we get that classic card look here we get her file card and all her information we get obviously Baroness and Lady J, and then we see these two here that are uh, coming down the line in this uh, carded figure setup. And clearly, we can tell this is gung ho, and I want to say this is possibly Destro. So, get all the legal mumble jumble, the barcode, and that's pretty much it. It just brings back and screams that original G.I. Joe card carded figure setup. And then the same thing with Lady J, there's no difference in it. We get a great. Uh, video or great video sorry we get a great graphic card image of lady j there and we get a good um sculpt, face sculpt on lady j and all her accessories and everything that comes with it one thing that i wanted to point out that i noticed with these they throw in a stand which was a nice little touch there looks kind of flimsy though so it'll be interesting to see how well um, those hold up and we get her file card and and clearly again we get you know, Baroness, Lady J, and then we see who's coming down the line. So, and all the legal mumble jumble. So, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Again, a yo jo for the artwork and the way they display the figure. But when it comes to the, the card itself, these are flimsy. I mean, these are crap, junk. Why Hasbro went that way? I get it. Maybe it's with their Earth Conscientious mission of, you know, saving plastic and paper and stuff, but it's a horrible card. 
very, very thin. I would have loved to have seen a thicker card stock, if you will. Look at mine, mine's already separating. It's like it was never even heated properly. And I'm sure the majority of these on the pegs are doing the same thing. So overall, great artwork, great figure design, horrible cards. So without further ado, let's dig into these guys. All right, guys, so I've got them both out of the package here. And let me just say from the get-go when I got them out, um, looking at their uh, base, their stand that uh, Hasbro gives you in these, um, we'll get into it in a little bit more detail. The Lady J one has a star on it for G.I. Joe, and then it has the Cobra insignia on Baroness's that's a little bit more shinier, and we'll show you those in a minute. But let me tell you, both of these ladies, right out of the package, they would not stand up for me. And I don't know if it's maybe because of my surface here or what the deal was, but they were very, very top heavy. And I don't know if it was <laughs> the package deal that they got going up top, causing them to fall over, but they really just center over ankle just did not stand very well. And it actually took me a couple minutes to get them a, a fixed to the stand. They just kept wanting to pop off the peg. So the holes are just maybe a little, either a little oversized, maybe a little undersized and the pressure of them just, you know, they kind of sl slowly riding up and just didn't want to stick very well. But anyways, it's not a deal breaker. It's just those little perfections that on my, on, in my opinion, just, you know, didn't really, uh, you know, take the detail, right? Take the detail, take the time and uh, design it right the first time so you don't have to continuously design. But anyways, moving forward, let's get into these figures. Obviously with the Baroness, we see that we get five accessories, including the stand making it six. And then obviously with Lady J, we get uh, two, four, six, and then seven with the stand. Now, one thing we'll get to her in a minute which is kind of oddly freakish, but we'll get to her in a second on Lady J. Let's dive into Baroness. So we get a set of we get a set of glasses that are um, see through. So which is nice. They're not silvered out, so we do get to see her eyes. I already tried them on to her face. They actually fit very snug. A lot better on Baroness than like um, Sergeant Slaughter with the uh, Action Force line, where his are very very loose, and if you're not careful, they will slide off or pop off. Moving into it, we get these two pistols of hers. They're just basic pistols. There's nothing really to write home to mom about on them. They're nice. You know, you can tell they're Baroness's pistols. Can't remember if these would have been the actual cartoon accurate uh, pistols that she carried, but they're nice. It's a nice touch. Moving into her futuristic rifle of some sort. It's got a fixed uh, adhered magazine already inside of the weapon. And nice little detail. And it's got... Uh, it's got this peg on the back. Now, I'm assuming if it doesn't fit on her somewhere, it's more meant for stand. And looking at her rifle, her sniper rifle, if you will, not bad. It's got some nice detail going into it, but um, there's really nothing really to write home to mom about. There's no transparency on it, different paints or anything like that. But it's not a bad looking rifle. You know it's Baroness's, <clears throat> excuse me, her sniper rifle. Now, let's move into the stand here for a second. It's pretty much a flimsy, you know, injected molded uh, stand. Nothing really going on there. Other than, I mean, we do get the Cobra Insignia. I think it would have been a nice touch if we would have hit that with some red Hasbro. So for future reference, if you're going to release these with the Joes, you might think about putting some red paint in there to make that pop as well as the Joes. I would do the star for the GI Joes, but, um, it's a decent stand. It's it's sturdy, but it's nothing like Action Forces. That's you could tell it's just it's got a lot more uh, weight to it and a little bit better design. And it gives you uh, a second set of pegs for different posing and optionals, a optimization of posing your figure. So, anyways, that's the stand. Moving into Baroness though, from the feet up, not she's not bad. Um, she rocks front to, front to back swivels on the ball joint on the on the ankle she's got this nice shiny paint on her or plastic on her boots and then it moves into this dull uh black uh plastic molding one thing that i do like and it does have some lines but they're not that noticeable her legs do not rock at the thigh and they do not really rock at the uh the ball joint but she does she can do the splits and then moving up onto the belt we get the cobra insignia belt there and her holster, holsters that 
really are kind of loose and her hair, it's gonna be interesting to see if her hair kind of gets in the way. Moving up into the arm, these are pinless, which is nice. Um, her arms go out side to side, up and down. She's got pointing fingers for holding her pistols basically in, in the trigger well. Moving up onto the chest, we get this great uh, Cobra insignia on the chest. She's got that black molded uh, top part on the chest piece and up on her shoulder parts, which is really nice. And moving into the head sculpt, that's Baroness. We can tell right away as soon as we put those glasses on. Let's do that now. We can put those glasses on her. And like I said, they pop on nice and easy and they stay. They're not really that loose. So nice touch there, Hasbro, on doing that. Moving into the hair. The hair's not bad. I don't mind it. It's, it's adhered, so you can't pop it off. I want to see why you would need to, but it's not bad. She's got a long straight cut, and that's pretty much Baroness in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and get her accessorized up now. We're going to go ahead and put her pistols in in her um, holsters here. And there you go. And then we can move into her rifles. And that's about it. I mean, that's... I don't know if she can technically hold this one. It doesn't look like it. it. doesn't look like she'll be able to really hold that sniper rifle, which makes no sense to me. But if you're going to give us a gun, why can't she hold it? So moving back over, putting her on the peg there. We'll just stick that rifle off to the side. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really understanding that. Her hand can't get in the trigger well there. So kind of disappointed there. Now, let's move into Lady J. Lady J... We get this um, little camera, her camera that came with her originally in her three and three quarter inch line. Um, it's got a little black lens on it, as you can tell, little black lens, nothing or nothing too much going on there. Then we get her backpack. I do like that they kept her backpack small. I'm just a little curious if that peg's gonna fit on her on her back or is it gonna pop off. We get this extra like uh, missile dart that goes on. Her, um, I believe it goes up here on the, the spear or the other end of the spear, like so. Or does it go on the, the back end of the pistol? I think it goes on the back end of like her, her gun here. And these are just like a gray, silverishy, transparent kind of uh, color going on here. Or does it go right here? I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Hell, I don't know. I don't remember this setup anyways to begin with, so... I'm probably doing it wrong, and y'all will let me know in the comments. <laughs> so moving that off to the side, and then we get her little knife here, which is not too bad. It's nice, got a black handle, silver little uh, blade tip. It's kind of thick, and that's about it. Now, let's move into Lady J here. I said you on the G.I. Joe stand. We get this G.I. Joe stand with the G.I. Joe star. Again, it's pretty rigid, gives you two pegs, really nothing to write home about. Um... Let's start with Lady J and then move up, up the uh, the figurine. Same thing with Baroness. Her heel or her ankles really she doesn't rock. She does move side to side as you can tell. She doesn't really move forward, up and down on the ankle. Pinless, which is nice. Butterfly joints and uh, right out of the package, she's very easy to go ahead and bend. You don't have to worry about any issues there of heating her up that I see. Uh, moving up the legs, the lines match up perfectly. That's nice. I like it. Her belt is a little loose on her. As you can tell, it kind of just slides up and down. We get an underbelt there that's brown with the silver buckle. Then she's on her abdomen, kind of trying to maybe copy or do like what Valiverse does on the ball joint here, but there's really no articulation there. Does I'm, ha I'm having to overly force over center on her abdomen. And yeah, I mean, she's got some nice detail here. She's on her straps, you know, that are supposed to be for her backpack. And then you can see like her little gold um, insignia there. Of the I think that's like um, like wings of some sort on her chest. Moving into the arms, butterfly joint, like I said. Uh, they bend up and down. They rotate 360 out over the T-post, side to side. Same thing on the other arm. And then moving up into the head. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. I was not prepared. I figured this head and hat would have been fixed. Why they did it this way, I have no clue. But on her hat, 
you get that little uh, silver uh, eagle emblem there. And then moving kind of around on her head, It's she, that's Lady J. I mean, we could tell it's not a bad face sculpt on her. But then Hasbro goes and does this with us. Boom. Why should we be able to pop her hat and hair off? I don't understand that because now she looks like some kind of cyborg figurine with this weird facial sculpt and this rear fat back head, if you will, on her going on, which I understand holds the hair and the hat on. But I don't understand this. Somebody please explain to me why Lady J, we need to have her with her hat and her hair being able to come off. What is the purpose of this? It does not need to come off. Thank God it sticks on her head or stays on her head very well because I would never think in a million years posing her in any other way where I would pull her hat off to make her bald. This is absolutely absurd. So this was a weird design, I guess, for Hasbro. I don't get it. So on this side of it, this is going to get a big yo no. So Lady J gets a big yo no for me. I like her though as a character, but... When I saw that, that definitely gave me a, 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 a thumbs down. Baroness is better design than that. But so let's go ahead. Let's move into her. Let's accessorize her a little bit. So her knife goes up here on her on her hip to the side. And that's pretty, pretty much it for her belt. And then moving in, we get her backpack. Let's see how well that sticks on. Nicely done. It blends in. It matches just right against those straps. I'm, I'm digging that. And then she has her camera that she wear, wears up over her shoulder. Hanging off her shoulder. And then we'll get into her holding her staff, her, her spear staff here. And again, I, I really don't understand the concept of the uh, firearm they gave us with her. I don't understand why we have to have that. I don't think we needed to have that. Lady J had the spear. I mean, I would have rather you given her like a regular infantry uh, weapon that one of the regular Joes would have would have carried, like a general, like AR or something or M16. But that's all I need to know that that's Lady J. Sorry, Baroness, didn't mean to knock you over there. But, yeah, this is, there's some flaws here in these designs. So, those stands don't always work very well That from what I've noticed. So, uh, overall, guys, I'm going to, I'll just balance them up here for the time being against their cards. You tell me, yo, Joe, or yo, no. In my opinion, yo, no on Lady J. Yo, Joe on Baroness. And as guys, as I appreciate as always for tuning into my channel, spread the word, share the video. And as always, I'll see you in Yesterland.